Tate, you have to figure out which evolution you want, buddy. Come on. Come here. Which one do you want? This intro is going to take forever. You want to open up Flareon? Eh, I guess we'll start with that one. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the puppy has spoken. And he wants to see more puppy Pokemon. And so today, we will be opening up the Flareon VMAX Premium Collection Box, which hasn't been the most difficult premium box to find. Obviously, when it comes out to the Ultra Premium Collection Boxes, yeah. But these Premium Collection Boxes aren't that hard to find for the most part. The only difficulty that comes with some of these is that I've noticed some stores will get one or two of the evolutions more than another. Such as my store, we had more Flareon and Vaporeon boxes and not as much Jolteon boxes, which isn't the worst because I gotta say, between the three, that's kind of my least favorite uh, promo art. But as we take a look, obviously we get two promos, jumbo promo, jumbo coin, and a pin. And obviously Flareon in a kind of a tech spec, kind of Tony Stark looking profile, which I think is pretty neat, but let's open this up. We will maintain it in its clamshell fashion. I think the way they have the promos, it has another clamshell behind it, so that's gonna be beneficial to opening these cards. And we don't have to worry about any lips or edges giving us dings for these promos. So that's one thing I'm a huge fan of when it comes to these premium boxes, is that they have a little bit extra effort put into them. But first thing we shall look at in here, since it popped out, is a pin. It's a really, really well done pin. I'm a huge, I'm actually a huge fan of this thing. I do love the extra layer of, you know, pin, I guess. Especially with the Gradient's fire energy decals in the back. I think this is a super, super neat promo pin that we haven't seen anything like this in uh, in any premium collection box. I mean, the closest thing that we got to a neater box was from the Zacian box from, from uh, Celebrations. I can't say I've seen anything with this much level of detail, and this definitely brings the premium in this kind of premium collection box, besides the promos. We'll knock this one out, just Jumbo Coin with the Evolutions. I still don't understand these Jumbo Coins, but hey, if you like them, why not? And pack-wise, we get two Fusion Strike Packs, one Chilling Rain, one Rebel Clash, one Evolving Skies, and one Vivid Voltage pack. Which we will start off this video with a Vivid Voltage pack. I know that I'm still chasing that Pikachu. I know you guys are watching me chase this Pikachu down. Will we finally see it? I hope so. But until then, we will be looking at these Evolution boxes, which I am very excited for. I think the promos are just some of the coolest ones we've seen in a while. And I keep saying that with every single uh, <laughs> box we get with pretty neat promos. But this one is a little different because it's actually making me want to complete the set of alternate art evolutions from Evolving Skies. Will we do it? Maybe? Ninjask, Reverse Hollow, casting off his shell as he kicks that little basketball. I don't know why he's kicking it. Does he have hands? And a rare. <sighs> Quagsire bathing in its own pool. But before we move on, you guys know that I was on a little vacation, you know, mini vacation with my lady for my birthday. And we stopped by a card shop which had some uh, some unique products in there that you don't typically see on this channel. And as a teaser, yeah, ooh, TikTok. As a teaser, we'll, we will be opening up a couple of things from this bag at the end of the video. Speaking of chasing down these, what the hell? Yeah, this thing is just all loosey. You know, and that's the thing when it comes to American cards is that you kind of get this a slight sense of uh, quality control issues, you know, you will see a lot of crimping off edges, off center edges and loose packs like that, which almost makes you feel as if a box was resealed. Granted, this store, this box was purchased directly from Target as they were putting it out. So I highly doubt this box was tampered with. I mean, if it was, you would see these, you know, promos not there, but you know, it just, the quality control definitely makes you feel that way ever so often. Hey, Powdon. Yeah, we'll take a look. That's one of the promos right now. And we'll do the jumbo. Do they have two jumbos? One for each? Nope. Obviously, the jumbo promo is just of the Flareon V Max. I think the neat thing about having this promo in particular, it really brings out more of the details that you, uh, you know, if you have Hawk Vision, you can see in the other card. But, you know, this one, seeing Executor in his little derpy face, Slowpoke, 
getting his Galarian feel on with his tail in the water. Will he get his Golden Crest? Probably. Rebel Clash. What do we need from Rebel Clash? What do we want to see from Rebel Clash? Mm, anything besides green code card action? That would be kind of nice. And how about you guys? Have you guys had luck with these boxes? And if so, anything good? Uh, I, I, I don't doubt you can find good things in here. As for right now, we're not seeing the best. I really like this Clefairy art. Oh, look at this little guy. Wishing he was back up on the stars, up in the moon. Kind of hating that he's back on Earth. And I think there's a lot of people who are sharing that sentiment. But would you go straight to Mars? Dare I say, why not? Why, why not? Palpa Toad. Sure. I kind of like the, these, uh, these cards from Rebel Clash. You have this little effects... A little pattern is going on in the background of these cards. And since we took a look at the jumbo promo, let's take a look at the smaller promo. And these additional clamshells ensures us that we're gonna get our cards without. Uh, typically, this little lip right here juts out more, holding the card in place. Luckily, these premium collection boxes don't have that. So we get nice, clean borders. And this one, for the most part, looks pretty good. A little bit of a ding right there, but that's not the worst. I mean, it's going into a sleeve, into a binder at some point. How can you not want to get the entire set of Evolution alternate art cards from Evolving Skies? These arts are just absolutely gorgeous. Ugh, yeah, and that's why I, I'm really taken by these promos over the other ones for the most part, because it makes me want to hunt down the rest of them, you know? So getting these as promos, you guys have suckered me into hunting down more cards. Hopefully... These picture frames are of the current Flareon, and this person isn't one of those, you know, animal hoarders that just has a bunch of Pomeranians, but that's absolutely could be the case. Next pack, coming in from Chilling Rain. Do you guys remember the names of the trainers from the Eevee Brothers episode of Pokemon? The very first season, I think that was the first season, of Pokemon. Do you guys remember? Comment down below if you remember their name. Obviously, there was a little bit of a hint a trick with the most recent Pokemon Go, well, relatively recent, and that uh, gave you the ability to evolve an Eevee straight into a Flareon if you had used the name of the trainer from that episode. Cast form. Uh, rain form? Snowy form. I could have read that, but with this illegible text on this card, it makes it way more difficult, especially because there is the water energy droplet right there. Yeah, you ain't reading shit. <sighs> Zarude, it's kind of a good looking card though. Fusion Strike, and have you guys been hunting down any more Fusion Strike? I mean, I think <laughs> besides the Eevees, I don't think, or Mews, I don't think a lot of people really give a damn about this set anymore, especially with Brilliant Stars literally right around the corner, and were you guys able to secure your pre-orders in on PokemonCenter.com? These failings look like they're being confronted by someone in an alleyway, and I, I want to know more about this story. Uh, that's kind of dark. Hope that they stay gold, pony boy. Simiseer. Cross Perceiver. Sizzlipede. Slap Bracelet Pokemon. It's got a Sandy Gas. Do you have a Slap Bracelet in the sand with you? Vulpix. Another dog Pokemon. Speaking of dogs, I love mine. Dunksparce. <laughs> we have yet to see <laughs> anything good. But we have one more promo to look at. As we look at no good packs, no good pulls, hopefully the stuff I got from our trip gives us something neat. As we've seen in the uh, the Jumbo version, we have the, the regular card version. And like I said, I feel like the Jumbo one gives you a slight bit more look into some of the detail. I mean, I feel like the Executor here is a little bit washed out. Can't really tell the full details of his face. Whereas this one you can because it's blown up. Last pack of Fusion Strike from this Flareon Premium Collection box. Let me know what you guys think about these boxes. I'm sure people are going to be going crazy over the code cards from this. I'm sure a lot of people are selling these code cards, which, hey, I don't blame you. But Jan loves the fans. Skeeter's Park. Frost Moth. Ninetales. Looking elegant in the forest. Kind of a boring uh, attack, though. Vulpix. Evolute. What? Why did I say Vulpix? That's a drill bird. But because I was looking at the little thing of thing, there's a little kitty cat, there's a, there's a fish, there's a bug, there's a chancy. A little pregnant woman. Are these, is, that, is this, do these hatch two chances? Lucky eggs? I don't remember. Please give us something good. You didn't give us anything good. 
That box sucked. But we have some stuff, as I said, from this little store we found in SoCal, which was pretty neat. Some goodies. Some goodies. Not my goodies. Well, they are my goodies, so I bought them. And what we have here, some Japanese bags. As you guys can tell on this channel, I'm not a huge Japanese card collector, but I do appreciate seeing a store that caters to primarily Japanese cards. And I couldn't help myself but get a few packs, especially because we were down there for my birthday. So I figured, why not? So I ended up opening up a couple of packs while we we're on vacation. So catch that in the vlog. We will open up a Dream League pack because we want to see some of those character cards. I mean, I didn't get a lot of Cosmic Eclipse, so we might as well try to make up for this with this Japanese pack, if I could ever get it opened. And you can tell quality control is pretty damn good down there in the land of good quality control and <laughs> everything that we love and adore here in America. Especially if you're into kitschy stuff. Uh, I think it's one to the front of the last one. I don't remember. And you guys should take me as an authoritative figure with Japanese cars because I did fail Japanese class in two weeks in high school, so I know what I'm talking about. Drillber. Ralts. Gloom? These cards are just, I don't know. There's something about these cards in comparison to American cards. Like, this feels like paper. This is just really good card stock. And that's the one thing I really do appreciate about Japanese cards is the quality is, has always been good and very consistent for the most part. Even in comparison to some of my older stuff that I got when I was a kid, these things don't feel that different. Versus the American cards, yeah, you can kind of tell the difference. And our hopeful good card? At the, no, it's not. Well, hopefully this VMAX Climax makes me Climax. And I don't really know what we're looking for in this. I don't, I don't know. When it comes to Japanese stuff, I don't try to... I don't pay attention to it because I want to be surprised when I get the American stuff. So I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, one here. And I always did enjoy, though, this backing more than some of the American ones. So I wish the Japanese energies were playable in the American set. Because look at that. That is just a good-looking energy card. And I really wish we could pl use these in the American stuff. But, you know, unfortunately, you can't. Fighting energy. Nice little Flareon. Coincidentally, we just opened up the Flareon VMAX Premium Collection box. Good timing. More dogs. Uh, Rock Ruff. Ichigeki Rock Ruff. Ichigeki, uh, what's your name? Shuppet. Kind of reminds me of a kid left on the snow that, unfortunately, yeah, that's kind of fucked up. We got some mummy gloves. Don't know where you're supposed to be, but there you are, mummy glove. Uh, we've got a building. We got an energy. I don't think you're fusing for Snor well, Snor Snor Snorlax. Big balls. Yeah, this Pokemon wants a big ball. And I think the rare? No. Got the Ichigeki Houndoom in her. Ooh. We're not done. There's another card behind this one. Oh, wow. Look at Oren Guru trying to be all sexy on the beach. I don't like the implications of this. Here we have an Oren Guru living up that van life. And a nice little uh, coffee pour over in the background. What a good looking card. And I don't really know how I feel about a girl doing van life with an Oranguru that's looking a little uh, sexy with his fan. It's a little strange. And um, I guess the rare? Ah. A very lackluster Articuno. Code card missing the first number or letter. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Our last pack for this Flareon VMAX Premium Collection box opening. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys get something good from these code cards. If you did, comment down below. Let me know what you guys pulled from this set because clearly I pulled a whole bunch of green code cards and a whole bunch of bullshit. The best thing I got was from that uh, that uh, VMAX Climax pack at the end from the store in SoCal. The link will be in the description down below for that store. It's in Anaheim. I don't know if it's, anyone, if it's anyone's little... Uh, I don't know if it's anyone's little honey hole, honey well, but we'll be blowing it up a little bit, memory capsule. But because you have to support small business as best as you can, and getting stuff like that, something kitschy, where these people are clearly trying to cater to a very niche crowd, support them. Memory capsule, please. That's not Pikachu. <sighs> well, there you guys have it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, drop a like, comment down below, let me know what you guys think about these evolution boxes. Also, comment down below the name of the Flareon trainer from the Pokemon episode of Eevee Brothers. I do want to do a giveaway. You guys didn't answer anything from the video previously. Uh, I think I'll link it here. And I do want to give away one of these. Uh, 
If you guys want to see a giveaway, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, share this video with some friends, pump hard, and let me know if you guys do want to partake in a giveaway because I want to give some stuff away because I have these just sitting around. From 2017, the chances of you having this if you didn't go is not very likely. So if you want to win one of these, drop a comment down below if you guys want to see a giveaway and we'll make it happen. Until the next time, pump hard. Oh,